look at this it seems that it is picture of a bowl now let me rotate the bowl and you will realize that it is actually a cup initially you saw the front view of the cup and then after rotating the camera we explored its side view now let us look at it from above the cup has three types of views one from front one from side and from above actually a cup is a tangible three dimensional object we can see or measure length width and height of the cup such objects are called three dimensional objects suppose you are walking on a road a person behind you will see your back he can guess fairly well your height and whether you are thin or stout or normal that is your width from the front side many more features will be seen he may even recognize you you are passing through the road fast a person in a small window notices you while passing by he will just see you from the side a friend from 17th floor will see only your head isn't it interesting let us see simple examples bag is also a three dimensional object this is front view of the bag this is side view of the bag and this is the top view of the bag glass bottle tv are also three dimensional objects consider this cone when viewed from front or from side cone looks like this and from above cone looks like this front view and side view of cone are same such objects are symmetrical sphere or ball is even more symmetrical than cone as you can see sphere or ball looks like a circle when seen from front or from side or from above look at this pyramid it is three dimensional object as we can see or measure its length width and height it is made up of card sheet card sheet is two dimensional as it has negligible thickness if we cut few edges of it the shape of card sheet it is made up of can be obtained this is the shape which we obtain surprisingly we can make three dimensional pyramid from two dimensional card sheet by folding and pasting along edges properly the two shape dimensional shape from which a three dimensional object can be made by folding is called the net of that object hence is net of a pyramid is net of a cube by folding it along the edges like this we get a cube what did we learn three dimensional objects are objects whose length width and height can be seen felt or measured objects which have only length and breadth and no thickness or negligible thickness are two dimensional the two dimensional shapes from which a three dimensional object can be made by folding is called net of that object exercise draw following nets on card sheet and try to make pyramid which of the following is correct net for cone for cylinder three views of objects are given below try to identify the objects 